that wind is loud in my ears. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the next EQFC. How are you today, Mr. King Rylix? I'm ready for a goddamn bloodbath. <laughs> you want to explain what we're doing today? So we've got 66 orcs for 66 gnolls. We've got Clan Crushbone versus Clan Blackborough. Oh yeah, goddamn bloodbath. And you you said we have 66, right, on each side? Yeah, I'll give the breakdown. Briefly. We'll go into more detail when they're out here. But we've got ten orc pawns, ten orc centurions, ten orc slavers, ten orc legionnaires, ten orc oracles, ten orc emissaries, and then six names. We've got the prophet. We've got a royal guard. We've got an orc warlord, Lord Darg, Emperor Crush, and Ambassador Devin. Versus. 10 Null Pups, 10 Scrawny Nulls, 10 Elite Null Guards, 10 Null Guardsmen, 10 Null Tacticians, 10 Null Commanders, and then 6 names. We've got the Null High Shaman, Refugee Split Paw, Master Brewer, Split Paw Commander, Tranix Dark Paw, and Lord Elgnub. Now, unfortunately, we were just discussing there is no Fippy Dark Paw in this. I'm sorry, guys. Epic fail. <laughs> Yes, it pointed out that Fippy should, uh, should have been included, and that is my blunder. He wasn't in Black Burrow, so I didn't include him, but yes, he is a Black Burrow and all. So he, he could have. sure is. I apologize for that. <laughs> Rebel Advisor says RIP Fippy. All right, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's get them out here. And in order to do that, you shout, let's get ready to rumble! Now, I enjoy the pathing that Rylex has uh, produced this time around. First the orcs come out, then the nulls, and they come out in a nice little line here. It does take a little bit for them to come out. <laughs> it's like college football. <laughs> Pretty close. Look at them all lining up for their death. Or their win, we don't know yet. Um, our idea for this is that we're going to do best two out of three because the actual fight itself goes pretty quick. So we want to see who's going to win overall. I know a lot of these look like they're on top of each other, but just know that my computer sucks and it glitches a lot. Woo, look at them go. These badasses. Ah, yeah. Beautiful. And next comes the Nulls. Very exhilarating. I do think it's beautiful the way you've set it up, though, Rylex. Guys, I put I put close to forty hours into this pathing alert, so <laughs> it because it, I could have just spawn them all right here. That that's not hard, but I, I think the the entrance is important to getting that that feel that we're. It's all about know, that presentation. Yeah, so you know, and I like them all lined up like in a certain way, and they're staring at each other. It's, it's and really it's cool. it's fun to see what they all look like right next to each other too. Orcs patiently waiting. <laughs> so let us know on Twitch or if you're watching this later on YouTube down in the comments. Who are you rooting for? Are you Team Orc or Team Null? How about you, Rylex? What is your team? 
Oh, I'm team orc all the way. I ate speed and crush bone for many, many years. I did very little time in Black Bro, so I could care less about them also. Exactly. I hate to say it, but I'm I'm team orc too. As cool as the uh, nulls are. <laughs> Alright. Let me come up here next to Rylex so we can have a nice aerial shot. So, we'll go through really quick. We've got this front row is 10 null pups. Second row is the scrawny null. Third row is elite null guard. Followed by null guardsman and Null Tactician, and Nolo Commanders. Ooh. It's really hard to see their names. <laughs> and then we have a Null High Shaman, Tranix Darkpaw, Lord Elgnub, Splitpaw Commander, Master Brewer, and Refugee Splitpaw in the back there. And then over here, on the Orc side, we have orc pawns. They're so cute compared to the rest of them. And then orc centurions, followed by some orc slavers, some orc legionnaires, orc oracles, orc emissaries, and then in the back here we have an orc warlord, the prophet, ambassador Devin, emperor crush, and lord darish. All right. <laughs> Let me get up here so we can see the bloodbath about to take place. All right, guys, you ready? Round one and fight. There they go. As Rylax says, a goddamn bloodbath ensues. <laughs> kind of an interesting fight to try and get any kind of a, a view on because they're all just so clustered in here. So if you're just tuning in, this is the first round of the uh, orcs versus the gnolls. We have an emissary running like a little bitch. <laughs> he did not survive. I think Rylex briefly debated about turning off the ability to run away, but we thought it was kind of funny to watch them try to save themselves. <laughs> Just from looking right now, it kind of seems like anyone could win, right? There's a lot of both sides left. You holding up over there, Rylex? Oh, I'm loving the show. And we have our first winners! The orcs. I'm gonna wait and see who all survived this round, and then we will depop the zone and repop them and get round two going. Dang, look at them all. <laughs> it's like most of them still survived. Wow, we got a lot of oracles, some Legos, emissaries, Darish is there, Ambassador Devin, Emperor Crush. Very nice, very nice. All right. Now, unfortunately, when we depop the zone, we depop our crowds, so we got to pull them back up. Let's get ready to rumble for the second time around. 
just so you guys know, I I put in a significant amount of time into trying to balance this. So on both sides, the levels are very similar. So it's not like one side has much higher level than the other side or anything like that. So just just remember, I, I balance this. And it's true to classic. You know, if, if something, uh, for instance, Orc Legionnaires, if their highest level was a level 15, then they didn't get a higher Orc Legionnaire than level 15. So nice. nothing was, like, stretched to just to make it fair. I mean, this is this is as true to classic as I can possibly get it. This is true. He had a whole, like, spreadsheet, too, where he sat down and wrote out both sides and was trying to make sure it was all balanced. It was awesome. Late missed the match. You did not miss the match. We're doing best two out of three. So we will see if this round yields a different uh, outcome. Look at all these badasses coming on out. I have to say, I was a lot more excited for this match than I thought I would be. <laughs> I'm excited for all the other possibilities that uh, that there are for versus matches, like the uh, Giants I'm looking forward to doing one day. What about you guys? Let us know what you want to see, because we're all about pleasing for the most part, everybody that we can. <laughs> but please, please keep it to classic. You know, yes. Kunark, classic Kunark and Velia, so I really don't want to expand beyond that yet. You know, we've got years of doing EQFC ahead of us, so we're trying to get out as much classic content as possible, and then once we've really exhausted a lot of that, we'll start diving into some of the higher-end stuff from later expansions. Yes. We also wanted to announce, too, uh, we're not getting too much into it today, but while they're still lining up, that our December match, which, again, is still a ways away, um, we're going to be doing on Christmas, not the first weekend in December. But there will be a lot more to come on that match later. It's going to be the best one yet. All right, three hours later and they're all ready to go. Beautiful, beautiful. Three, two, one, fight number two, go. Not gonna lie, it would not break my heart if the orcs won again, because they are OP. Maybe it's just because I played all elves. <laughs> A blob of orcs and gnolls, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. There's no point in me going around and clicking on things to see what their health is either because it's <laughs> it's pretty much impossible. <laughs> Win again. 
So I guess that settles it. They just won best two out of three. Congratulations to Clan Crushbone. You truly live up to your name and we are all so proud of your nasty little red-eyed faces. <laughs> Thank you again to Rylex for putting all this together. You put so much time and effort into this. Yeah, there was, that was like, that was insane. <laughs> when he was in the middle of testing um, which ones would win, originally it was it was pretty much 50-50 shot, but the more he fine-tuned all the characters and everything, the, you know, <laughs> the more apparent it became that orcs are OP. Anything else you'd like to add there, Mr. Rylex? Yeah, I know we, we said we weren't going to say it, but t tell them what's coming in December. Give them, give them a little... Oh, you want me? Okay. So everyone has been asking for a Carafirm, and we've been teasing the last few months about Carafirm. And that's what we're going to do in December. But what we are hoping to accomplish is to be able to open the server up to anybody who wants to come and try to kill Carafirm. Um, there has not been an event like this since, what, since they first came out with the Velius expansion and people killed her the first time, or almost not killed I her. Know of, I, I, don't, I don't know of an emulator that's done it either, but I'd like to see, uh, my, my goal is to get a level 60 of every class on the server, pre-populated with all its gear and all its spells. So essentially, you just log on to our server, you just pick, like, say you want to be a warrior, say you want to be a warrior, you just pick, it's already fully geared, best everything, and you just run out of Kale into this arena and you try and kill her. And I'm hoping that hundreds of people, maybe even a thousand or something, could all come in and we try and kill her. Just like back in the day, except you don't have to grind. You just start max everything and good luck. It will be our holiday gift to everyone. Plus, it'll be close to our one-year anniversary of starting this whole shenanigans. So we thought it would be really awesome, and people have been asking to join or to be able to physically participate in some way, and I can't think of a better way than something like that. So really excited for that. But anyway, thank you guys for coming out tonight and watching. Um, this will all be up on YouTube here soon, obviously. Make sure to join our Facebook group and join YouTube. We will have some polls on there for next month's EQFC, um, along with other stuff. I know that Facebook is dumb and, you know, we're old people. It is what it is. But <laughs> join us. Um, and if not, then we'll just see you back here next next month. So anything else you want to say, Rylex? Yeah, join our Facebook group, please. It's, it's a private Facebook group, EverQuest Fighting Championship. Join it, and you can vote on future fights. Yep. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good rest of your month, and we will see you in September. Bye.